to tonight. And of course, I want to start with a, a young presidential hopeful named Donald Trump, the, <laughs> the elephant in the room who is backed by unpopular demand. It was, uh, quite, I don't know if you watched this, but it was quite the scene at Mar-a-Lago last night, starting with this entrance set to a song from the musical Les Mis. Here they come. It's former First Lady Melania with her husband, Jean Valtrex. And um, I can think of no better way to kick off another Trump campaign than with Les Miserables. It's a musical about a criminal with a hot daughter who gets away with it in the end. And <laughs> sorry, I should have said spoiler alert. I didn't mean to. Whatever the soundtrack, Trump is waddling for president again. You know, he hasn't actually conceded the last election yet. If he won that, you know, if he beat Joe Biden in 2020, as he constantly says he did, he shouldn't even be allowed to run. He's termed out now. That's eight years, but... <laughs> one of the reasons Trump is... One of the reasons he's running again is try to, to slow down the many, many criminal investigation he's at the center of right now. He's basically a bank robber on the run from the cops, and the White House is a dumpster behind an Arby's he's trying to hide in. <laughs> He gave a weird, rambling speech with so many false statements, it makes you wonder where he's even getting them. I don't know if he's making them up, but he bragged about many imagined accomplishments and seemed especially proud that he never got us into a war. They said during the 2016 campaign that if he becomes president, there will never be a war within weeks, and we will have wars like you've never seen before. It will happen immediately, and yet I've gone decades decades without a war, the first president to do it for that long a period. It's gone decades without a war. <laughs> Even Donald Trump thinks his four years in office felt like decades. <laughs> he, I have to say, you know, he, he took a lot of fun of Joe Biden, but he seemed kind of out of it. He was so low energy, we might have to start calling him Jeb. He was reading from a teleprompter, which you know he doesn't like to do, and he turns it into a conversation with himself. He'd be like, uh, we promised to build the wall, and we built the wall. We did build the wall. We completed the wall, and now we will build more wall. Like, he's just chatting with his own words. <laughs> and while he, he may not have started a war for decades, Captain Bone Spurs has a plan to strike fear in the hearts of our adversaries with the mother of all missile defense systems. We need it. The power of these missiles and the power of a word that I refuse to say, nuclear. <laughs> yeah, I just, you just, you just refuse to say it. And then when it comes to the type of missiles he refuses to say, Trump knows how to build them. He's got the plans right downstairs in his basement at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Donald Trump is mentally unbalanced, and so are the dummies who follow him. Here he is musing about some grandpa-style solutions to America's drug problem. Pay attention to the, cr to the crowd's reaction here. In China, when I was with President Xi, I said, President, do you have a drug problem? No, 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 we don't. He looked at me like I didn't know what I was doing. He said, uh, no, we don't have a drug. How come you don't have a drug problem? He said, quick trial. What is a quick trial? Quick, I sort of knew. What is a quick trial? That's where, if you get caught dealing drugs, you have an immediate and quick trial, and by the end of the day, you're executed. <laughs> That's a terrible thing. But they have no drug problem. <laughs> They're cheering. <laughs> They're cheering for quick trials and same-day executions. How, I mean, how sick do you have to be to clap for that? Especially in a room full of secret cokeheads. I mean, this is... <laughs> and if you guys... By the way, I just want to say, if you love these... The idea of these quick trials and, and immediate executions so much. Uh, what's with all the appeals and delays from your armies of lawyers for the many crimes you've been charged with? Let's get you right up in front of the judge. By the end of the day, let justice be done, right? I mean, it's... <laughs> it was a long night. The speech was an hour and four minutes long. At a certain point, people were trying to leave the ballroom, but security forced them to stay. It was like a room full of Melania's begging to be set free. <laughs> Even Fox News cut away from his speech before it was over. Not only that, this is the cover of Trump's beloved New York Post today. You can see the only mention is all the way at the bottom. It says, Florida man makes announcement. <laughs> and then when you go to page 26, this is real. This, this article, little article, says, been there, done that, and that's that. His cholesterol levels are unknown, but his favorite steak is served with ketchup. That's the story. 
They put in the New York Post, for real. My, how the Warren has turned. Many prominent members of Trump's inner circle were notably absent last night. Three of his kids didn't make it. Don Jr., Ivanka, and Tiffany were nowhere to be found. Eric was there, hoping to be found. Um, <laughs> it's really just Jared and Eric. Uh, it's like, just like Succession, Jared's Tom, Eric is Cousin Greg. And um, at least I think that was Jared. It could have been a Sherwin-Williams extra white paint swatch. I don't know. But... <laughs> Ivanka Trump announced she will not be a part of her father's campaign. She wants to spend more time away from her family. She said uh, in a statement, while I will always love and support my father, going forward, I will do so outside the political arena. Most likely from the other side of the glass on a prison phone, but I don't know. He can't do this without Ivanka. That's like rebooting Sex in the City without Samantha. I mean, you need that character. Only one politician showed up last night, North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn, but that's just because he heard there was going to be an orgy afterwards. <laughs> Even creepy Matt Gates didn't go. He claimed it was because of the weather, but I hear he was online trying to get his girlfriend Taylor Swift with tickets. And, um, <laughs> but you know who was there? None other than the pride of Mankato, Minnesota, Mr. Mike Lindell. Mike, m Mr. My Pillow was on the scene, all fired up and raging against the machines. Well, nowadays it's like, I'm sorry, e you don't get to audit, you don't get to nothing, and you certainly can't look inside our machine. Come on, that's proprietary technology in there. Like, Brian, if you told me there were rocks and knives in my pillows, you know what I'd tell you? Take a look, there's no rocks and knives. It's beautiful, patented yeah. pillow. Yeah, and certainly. Speaking of that, use promo code RSBN. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah just for the record, there are no rocks or knives in his beautiful, patented pillows. <laughs> there used to be rocks, but he might smoke them all. And uh, there's a whole industry designed to fleece the Trump faithful. I got this ad on Twitter this morning, uh, return of the great MAGA king, Silver Coin. Cherished family heirloom your children will dispose of immediately upon your death. This is a great Christmas gift for someone you no longer invite to Christmas. Trump has already lost the support of some big Republican donors like Stephen A. Schwartzman and Kenneth C. Griffin. You know the rich guys when they use the middle initial, but uh, both Schwartzman and Griffin said they're going to support different candidates this time around. They don't know who yet. They just know it won't be him. It's a good thing Donald Trump doesn't care about money or he would be very upset about that. Meanwhile, his former Secretary of Defense today said he is unfit for office. His former Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, said Republicans need more seriousness, less noise, and leaders who are looking forward, not staring in the rearview mirror, claiming victimhood. Even Melania this afternoon was spotted arriving at Trump Tower in Manhattan. She hightailed it out of there, but there are still plenty of swamp creatures on board for round two. Trump picked up a key endorsement last night before he even threw his wig in the ring. We know that President Trump has a special announcement tonight, and I'll go ahead and say right now, President Trump has my full endorsement and my support as our Republican nominee in 2024. All right, well, he's got one vote. I think I know why she's doing this. You know, we know Mike Pence isn't gonna be running mate again. His own vice president won't even endorse Trump. But Pence says he thinks Republicans have better choices, so maybe this goblin named Marjorie Taylor Greene is hoping she gets the nod. You're a real American, and you deserve a vice president who's as real as you are, someone who knows our history. Kennedy getting killed in the plane crash, that's another one of those um, Clinton murders, right? Someone who respects our democracy. Flood all the government buildings. Go inside. These are public buildings. We own them. Someone who knows how to ask the tough questions. I've introduced a bill to ban it and make it a felony to genital to mutilate children's genitals. Do you stand by that? Boy, that, that was a lot. Someone who knows other things too, like words. Not only do we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag, but now we have Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police. So many <laughs> words. And why their due process rights are being so fragrantly and horrifically violated. Bill Gates wants you to eat his fake meat that grows in a peach tree dish. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Real American. Real stupid. Real crazy. In history, how much taxes people paid back in the ice ages to warm up the earth and melt the ice. Ugh, are you kidding me? I'm Marjorie Taylor Greene and I approve this message. Also, Hillary Clinton is part of a deep state baby eating cabal. Oh, well, you know, it makes you miss Sarah Palin. 
Speaking of Marjorie Taylor Greene, male fertility is on the decline. According to a new study, researchers found worldwide sperm counts fell by more than 51% since 1973, which is why we need Herschel Walker in the Senate more than ever before. You know, down in Georgia, Herschel's gearing up for his runoff with Raphael Warnock, and he's doing it by tackling the issues voters believe matter the most. The other night, I was watching this movie. I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires and cool people, are they not? But I'm gonna tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? Uh, Senator, your time has expired. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. Did you know that, Guillermo? No, I didn't. We didn't know that. All right, we learned something. Thanks, Herschel. You know, we, we've got a great show for you tonight. Camille Nanjani is with us, and Pink is here tonight. And Pink is an exceptionally talented person, one of the most talented people in all of music. And tonight, she's going to allow us to put her talent to the test, because it's time now to wing it and sing it. Don't be frightened. Hello, Jeff. Hi, Pink. This is Pink, everybody. Now, uh, you said you're frightened. There's no reason to be frightened. This is very simple. Okay. We have some lyrics on these cards. Um, these are lyrics you've not seen, correct? Correct. Okay, so um, I'm going to reveal them to you. Okay. And all you have to do is sing them okay. as you see them. Okay? I apologize. All right. No apology necessary. We're Jeff, gonna nail are, it. Jeff is going to be accompanying you. He is our pianist uh, or piano player, as he prefers to be called. Uh, are you ready to do it? I think. It's time to wing it and sing it. Here we go. If you found out who I really am, would you still want to be my man? Would you still love me if you knew the many sketchy things I do? I drink ranch dressing straight out of the jar. I look at my phone when I'm driving my car. On Halloween night, I won't open the door. I once went to bed in a mattress store. I honk my horn just to make people mad. I tell random kids that guy's not your real dad. I flip people off on the 405. I believe JFK Jr. is well. No, I don't. No, I don't. I do not. Just in case you need more examples, I get high at Costco and eat all the free samples. And one time on a flight, I was going to Sydney. I roofied a guy and took out his kidney. Another fact you should know. I have a third nipple on my elbow. In the heat of passion that sounds like I'm making. Oh, oh, a heart snort gobble. Oh, God, I'm not thinking. Did you do it? Gitchy, gitchy, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Jumbo, lead that said that boy. Hey, jumbo, jumbo. Oh, this is still sex sounds. Cuckoo, a chew, a jumbo. Oh, I don't. I, that doesn't happen. Also, this never happens. And one more thing, I suck my thigh. Pink, everybody. 